Welcome to simplefinancesupport.com. Uh, I would like to go over BP business partner today. So let's look at uh, what is happening with the transactions which were there prior to S4. So let's go to one of the transaction which is vendor creation. Let's go to the financial accounting accounts payable and master data records you know the transaction could still exist fk01 right so when i double click on that fk01 it is taking me to a different place that is called create business partner either it is a person organization or group so for example for this example purpose uh, uh, we can you know create an organization but here you watch at uh, the message that it is giving so let's look at the message um, the message is uh, the redirect redirecting the transaction to bp so instead of fk01 we can directly go to uh, bp transaction code bp business partner okay so when you go to the bp uh, transaction so this is the way it will appear here so as talked uh, earlier whether that person may be that business partner may be a person or organization or a group so in the example that we are trying to create today let's create a organization so when I say click on create organization uh, the screens will show up here for creation of the business partner so and very important thing is that in a business partner immediately it is asked system is asking under which role that you are creating a business partner for example here there is a big list of roles which are available to create so for time being let us not get confused on the business roles so at this point of time let's say business partner role which is general which is like you no know, address details so i'm taking address details here and saying that bp example one and let's call as a vendor okay and then for this vendor i'm pretty much i'm creating um, all other information like address details and all that okay but um so maybe i don't need all the information right now because i don't know how i'm going to use this particular vendor so at this point of time i'm just creating uh, the name uh, business partner example one that's all i'm creating okay so and then simply if you see there are like a lot of screens uh, which are here which typically used to be a general data tab um, in r3 uh, but now it's like part of your business role partner general so let me just save this here okay the moment i save here uh, the business partner 100050 is created okay so what i can do is that i can go back to again bp now if I, when i go back to bp by default it is 100050 is there i would click on the change row simply change row then i'm cancelling here the short uh, left side uh, help window that i'm just moving there and uh, then you know right now if i say change you see you know like here only the one which is uh, the one which is created is a business partner general right and other roles are not yet defined okay so let me uh, take this particular uh, uh, like you know the 100050 business partner and create a fi vendor okay so i'm going to fi vendor there is a role called fi vendor i'm just taking that fi vendor so the moment i am trying to say that okay data has been changed to save the first as I, I don't want to save any data so i said no and i'm going into the change role uh, business partner so if you carefully observe there is a small information which is coming in the bracket new so this indicates that this particular role for the vendor 100050 is never created okay so let's go ahead and uh, you know create this information and the moment i took the bp role and 
here you can see that company code data is enabled here okay so simply i can you know, add more information here 